It's hard to believe that I am the same person who led an active life two years ago. My day would begin at five o'clock, as the school where I taught started at seven o'clock. Getting my daughter ready, preparing my husband's lunch, getting ready for office was all part of my morning routine. Now, every morning I wake up hoping there is no pain or stiffness. It's become a part of my life. I'm hardly able to use my fingers. And the pain around my joints is unbearable. I have listened to all kinds of advice. But there is no respite from pain. Asha is one of the million people for whom pain is a constant companion in their lives. Autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, and juvenile idiopathic arthritis can attack a person at any age. This happens when the body's immune system, designed to protect us from infectious agents, acts instead against our own self, causing inflammation in joints. It brings with it a nagging sense of pain and fatigue that just refuses to go away. 12 million suffer from autoimmune disorders in India and over 10 million of them are RA patients. The numbers could be much, much more as these disorders are often undiagnosed until the late stage. As the pain in the joints increases, mobility and flexibility decreases, severely eroding the quality of life. Patients in India have not had access to the one therapy that can offer them a new lease of life. Globally, millions of patients have been successfully treated with Adali Mumen, the revolutionary biologic which has changed the way autoimmune disorders are treated. The joints in our body, like small joints in the fingers, elbow, wrist and the knee, are surrounded by the synovium, which produces a small amount of synovial fluid. In rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune disorders, there is inflammation in the synovium. It swells, produces extra fluid and hurts. The major culprit for this inflammation is the overproduction of tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF alpha, mainly secreted by specialized cells called macrophages. TNF alpha binds to its receptor expressed on a variety of cells in the joint, leading to inflammation and destruction of the joint. Adali Mumen, when injected into the body, binds to the TNF alpha and stops its action by preventing it from binding to its receptors. Inactivating TNF alpha curbs the inflammatory reaction in many autoimmune diseases. For over a decade, patients in India have been living in the hope for this targeted therapy. The wait is finally over. The world's most preferred biologic therapy, Adali Mumen, is now available for Indian patients. It was Zydus's founder chairman, Mr. Raman Bhai B. Patel's vision to bridge such needs through innovative solutions in research. Scientists at Zydus Research Center started working on biologics, especially biosimilars in 2001. The vision was to create biologics with the highest quality standards in terms of purity, safety, efficacy, and with the highest degree of biosimilarity in the case of biosimilars. By 2013, the team had successfully introduced several biologics in the market. But the most awaited one was 
the world's first biosimilar, Adali Mumel. With sheer hard work, they developed a production process that gave them a product with the physical, chemical and biological characteristics that were a fingerprint match of the originator, made right here in India. In line with its bench to market strategy, the group also set up India's largest monoclonal antibody production facility. It is equipped to match the highest standards of GMP anywhere in the world and ensuring that this fingerprint matched biosimilar product is available to patients at the highest degree of quality in terms of purity and safety. The state-of-the-art facility is automated and can produce 2.7 million doses in a year. Finally, the world's most preferred therapy is here. Exemptia. For those suffering from autoimmune disorders, Exemptia brings the hope of a better tomorrow. Exemptia offers a new lease of life for patients suffering from autoimmune disorders. For millions like Asha, it's not just about living a life without pain. It's about being empowered to give wings to their dreams.